Yo, my people, I hope you're all good. I hope you're all blessed. So it's me, Jai, chatting a van. Um, so, yeah, what I want to get into today is just mental health today. And when I first heard a voice and, and little bits and bats of mental health, yeah. Because um, I feel like I've lost a bit of the track on it and I just want to get a bit into it, yeah. So, what I want to say is, um, firstly, before I start, is I hope you enjoyed the one about fake friends, energy suckers and all that. And what I mean by that is, look... People sometimes believe that you're friends and stuff like that. Like I said, this is not aimed at anyone. I'm just giving people advice from my experiences, yeah? It's what people need to put in their heads instead of going around talking rubbish, yeah? Like, and what I'm saying is, look, you can't believe you're a friends and people are friends with it with a boy, with it be with a girl, yeah? If you don't trust one another. If there's no trust there, you're not friends. You get me? It's not, they don't mean you're enemies. That don't mean you're enemies. It just means, look, if everyone ain't trusting each other, then you can't be friends, you can't roll together, you can't do business together, you know, boy or girl, whoever it may be, girlfriend, partner, if there's no trust, there's just, just forget about it, and if you go in a room and people make you feel a type of way, or you can even get to a level where you're ready to go and kill or murder someone that that that, that you was believed to be your friend, then you're not friends, in it. Like, it don't mean you're enemies, but it don't mean you're friends, and, and obviously, if they're draining your energy and all stuff like that, and bringing negativity to you, and bringing badness around you, you can't be around them, innit? Do you understand? You need to be around good people, or people that make you feel good, people that make you feel comfortable. And you know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's not aimed at anyone or directed at anyone. None of my videos. Do you understand? It's just my experience. I'm just giving my advice. But anyway, let me get into mental health, yeah? First time I heard voices, yeah? So, you know, when I was a kid... You know, that don't really matter anyway. Do you know what I'm saying? But well, when I was a kid, I first, like... I used to... I seen things, in it. I used to see things, yeah? So when I was a kid, but I used to smoke weed. And I say when I'm a kid, because I'm like 13, 14. You know, I used to blaze weed back then. 11, 12, 13, you know what I'm saying? I went to jail when I was 14. Thank God that was, that was, that was a blessing for me. But anyway, I was smoking weed, I was hallucinating here and there, and then one time I seen this, like, thing in my kitchen, yeah? And it was mad, do you get me? It was, like, ginger hair, it was all evil and shit, yeah? And it scared me, you know what I did? I got down and prayed, yeah, I prayed. Got on my knees, dropped to my knees, and I prayed. But I just smoked a fat spliff, yeah? And I, that's what we're doing it to me with the bud, yeah? Got to be in it, do you understand? So I've prayed and I've prayed, and it's, I've looked up, it's gone away. Then a few years later, I've done a bit of jail, come out, and i seen the same face in the cooker. You know, it sounds mad, people are going to think, yo, madness, yeah. i seen the face in the cooker, and even thinking about it now scares me a little bit, you get me? It don't feel me, but it, it, like the face, it's a bit like, ooh, it gives you that little feeling there, you know, like like adrenaline. Like, rah. But anyway, so there was little experiences as we're having, but that was from weed. So I advise anyone that is smoking weed and, he's, and you're getting, like, hallucinating, hallucinating from it sometimes... Or, or you're seeing things from it, or you're hearing things that are not there, that is the bud, or 90% of that is the weed, yeah, so stop smoking it if you're young anyway, you know what I'm saying, like certain man can blaze and blaze bear spliffs, um, <coughs> certain people can't, I'm one of them, but anyway, the first time I heard a voice now, yeah, so I've been in prison, and when I was in prison, this, I can't remember exactly which time, but I remember that, I was um I had I got in parcels in it so I had steroids and I had the bottles of steroids and I, and I had injections like proper needles I had it all the wet wipes everything yeah you know many men have had this in prison you get me I just think everyone gets so big in there you know what I'm saying it's not from fucking prison potatoes and chicken kievs um but anyway I was on steroids in there I didn't take too much I had a bottle of that mass for fifty it was called yeah I was injecting it in myself. Obviously, I was out on the wing. I was always, on, I was always on the madness. Anyone that knows me in jail will always be able to tell you, yeah, yo, he's done some madness. He's been on. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, there's no negative stories about me in jail, like none. So they'll tell you anyway. So I was all juiced up and thinking I'm, you know, Jack the Lad and that. And um, I went on a visit. I've got some documents for this as well. You know, a lot of people think that whatever, but I've got some documents for this. And I went on a visit, and I can't remember if it was the time that. Uh, Sophie came on a visit and and the thought she passed me something but she didn't and I flipped and I, and I headbutted the screws and I, and I beat them up this is all documented I've got the paperwork as well and then there was another time I can't remember if this time she came on a visit with an argument and I ended up hitting someone else's visitor behind me but either way anyway 
I've been wrapped up for one of them situations and I've gone to segregation now. So I'm down the seg, I'm in Armley Block, yeah? Um, and I did seven weeks. So you know, I've done Bear Block and all the dance. So I'm down there, boom, I've got a jigsaw, yeah? Hundred or thousand piece jigsaw, yeah? Doing it every day on the floor, on the floor, on the floor, doing this jigsaw on the floor, on the floor. Anyone that knows, you see me, I'm the block, you got nothing right. I had a phone down there, actually, I had a mobile phone, I had a Zanko, but still my mental health was not good. So I was down there and, um, you know, doing my block, you know, tying up my mattress, punch bag, you know, doing bread workouts and that. And I was all right for a bit. I was all right for a bit, you know, I did, I was about, I was about six weeks in now into Seg, yeah. Thinking what what they're doing with me, you know, but because I've caused all these problems, you know, I'm I'm down as you know, he's getting things in, you know, he's got this person bringing things, and it's all documented on you know prison and your and your nummies, whatever, you know, you think you're not even hot, but you're hot as fuck, you get me, and so they didn't like want me back on the wing, really. They're thinking what we're gonna do with him. I can't remember how long I had left. I had quite a bit a bit of time. I think no, actually, I don't think I had much much left. You know, might have been about eight nine weeks or something. Cause I remember I, I didn't do too long in Lindo. So now what's happened, one night, yeah, I've gone in the toilet, I've heard a full on voice, a woman's voice, but obviously it's like, it's like voices in my head, you get me now, so I'm, I'm having panic attacks now, yeah, I'm thinking, right, I'm going fucking mad, but look, because I'm down the second, because I, I was who I was then, and I had that ego then, and I had that pride then, and I didn't want to let that shit go, and I didn't want, you know what I'm saying, I won't talk about it, so I didn't want to tell a screw. And I know I don't take, I'm not one of them for medication, you know, I've got a lot of medication. I'm not saying I don't take a few diazes here and there, whatever, when I'm, when, I'm, when I'm going, 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 going. But like, down then, yeah, I, I was against it. I always thought they tried to do me in jail, give me some fake meds and fuck it. I had some madness going on my head, so I've heard these voices now, yeah, now I'm getting, I'm in my pad, I'm like, what the fuck? Get my phone out, get my phone out. Ring so and so, let's have a chat for you. How are you? Da, da, da. You need to talk to me, you know, they can even vouch for me, you know. And I'll say a name in it because everybody knows. So Sophie, I used to ring and say, listen, you need to talk to me because my fucking head's going funny. Do you get me? My head's going bent. So she talked to me, talked to me, you know, you're all right, chill out. But my heart's going boom, 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 boom. Because I'm hearing voices and you know when you're going to lose your mind? You know when you're going to lose your mind? It's a scary thing. And, and people that have got mental health and have lost their mind, they know this. Because you do not want to lose your mind. Once you lose your mind, there's no fucking coming back. I don't care who you are. Yeah, you might come a bit normal, take medication, and but you're not that same person. And a lot of guys, like, it upset like it upset me anyway. I'm thinking, right, I don't want to lose my mind. I don't want to be like fucking some guys that are fucking going, going to fucking hospital and come back out and, the, you know, the fucked a little bit. You get me? Like, I'm not aiming and directing to anyone about my own personal views and, and thoughts on this shit, man. So I'm down the block and I'm like, fuck's sake. So to get myself out of that situation, you know, instead of, like, talking about it like I do now, and this is why I'm mentioning it because people are ready to lose their mind and they don't want to talk about it, but listen, speak about it because it'll make you feel much better, man. You don't have to speak to me. You don't have to come in the van. You can speak to anyone. But I remember I had it all in. And guess what I did to get out of the block? And this is no word of a lie, yeah? One of my boys, Ops, as you want to call them now, yeah? Come down. Ooh, super back. I don't like them. But anyway, yeah? So one of my, one of, one of my, one of my, one of my, one of my, um, one of my, uh, one of my boys, Ops, came down the block. So I thought, fuck it. This is my chance, yeah? We've gone, we've gone, when you go down the block, you wait in a little, like, you used to anyway you wait in a little in a little like doorway to go out and i hit this guy yeah and i knocked him out a little bit I dropped him and that do you know what i mean and that's because i was seven weeks in seg and i was losing my mind do you know what i'm saying i need to get the fuck out but guess what they didn't still since shit me out so now sorry i was like six and a half weeks i've come into the seventh week so now guess what a screw yeah who who got something put to his head anyway, let's just say, yeah, he got smut he got put on his knees. He didn't get put on his knees, his mate went on his knees, he ran off, and he had something pointed at his head out here on Great Arm Road. And I'm not gonna mention no names because I'm not saying this story to like, the big man. You know, because a lot of people get my shit muddled up. I'm just telling the story of what happened and why this happened. So I've seen this guy as a prison officer now. He come up my door, I said, yo, remember when I did that to you on Great Arm Road? And I pulled, I've said exactly what I did in it, like a stupid cunt. But I think, I believe. Because the next day, they came and shipped me straight to Lindholm. So now, guess what? 
I've landed in Lindholm. I've already told you this little bit, you know, them guys in the yard, 30, 40 man, whatever, blah, 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 yeah? Told you that, no point repeating myself. I've been in my selling G-Wing now, yeah? I've had an argument with a screw. Seven screws have come to my cell. Six, seven screws have come to my cell on G-Wing, you know. Uh, a few man was there as well from Bradford. They, they know this, yeah? Come on, sell. I've had them up. Yeah, they've got the run off. They've, been, they've given me a little bit, but I've been that fucking. You know, I've been in jail many years. I know how to deal with the situations. You know what I'm saying? Like people think seven, but it's nothing. It's when you've been in the system that long, you know how to handle it. So they've gone off anyway. But oh, obviously they come a lot behind me, behind my door, whatever. You're not coming out. Blah blah blah. But I only had a week left. What have they done? You need to go block. I've gone to the block, Anna. And the voices have come back. I think it was just like that loneliness or whatever it is that I don't know. But, you know, I got out that week and I got out. And that was once hearing the voices, to get me? Like, and if you're hearing voices and stuff like that, just talk about it. Just, just speak about it. Just speak about the voices. Sorry about that. I had a bit of a lightning situation there. But, yeah, if you're hearing voices, just speak about it because I never spoke about it. You know, now I'm okay now. I'm not saying I'm hearing voices now, but then I did and I never spoke about it. And that's probably what affected me later on along down the line. Do you understand? And then a second time I heard a voice, yeah. I want to get into it. I've heard whatever time it is now. So I've been in Marlins. It must be been in jail, yeah. I've been in Marlins, yeah. And I've been in the gym. I've been in the gym with my boy from Leeds. You know, I wish I could say his name, but like I said, I don't mention many man's names. No, I might not like it, but he's my boy anyway. And I'm in the gym and I'm chatting with him. I've heard my name, Janaya. And I'm going, whoa. Again, the same feeling. It's the same feeling of being like that rush in, my, in, my, in here. Yeah, I'm feeling like, whoa. You know what I'm saying? I'm losing my mind. Whoa. Do you get me? And obviously anyone that's going through these situations, this shit happens, man. I, I'm not, I'm all right now, you understand? But I'm I'm saying what I went through. And if, if if me talking about it can help anybody else, then that's all I want to do in it. You understand? I'm trying to help people. You know, I'm telling these stories, like I'm saying, just so I can explain to you the situation that as how, how I felt at that time. And you feel like you're going to go. But I never went, you know, you know, thank God in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I've been in the mount, whatever, yeah. I never got sectioned fully. But I'd be in the mount, whatever. That was used to drugs, but this is before the drugs and all that. This is just, do you know what I'm saying? Mental health, mate, where you, where you, where you, where you, where you, where you where it makes you a bit like shook and that, makes you upset and that, you know, feeling like you're gonna thingy, you, man. You're ready to shed tears, you know what I'm saying? And certain man know, like, certain man don't, I'm not mad, certain man have, certain man have been through nothing in it, certain man are not mad, but certain man have been through a lot of shit, yeah? When it be a kid, when it be a baby. And it all affects you now when you get older, it just affects you, man. And obviously when you're doing drugs and shit, that doesn't help in it. So obviously I try not to not to do any drugs or I'm not saying I'm perfect. You understand? I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. Do you understand? But cocaine's one drug that I'm not fucking with, you understand? Because it fucks you up, man. It fucks you up, man, badly. Like it fucks you up, man. Trust me, man, it makes you go against everyone and that. Do you understand? It makes you turn on everyone. You get me? And if it's doing that to you, if you're a person that's doing that to you, stop taking it, man. You understand? And that's anybody out there. Or even don't take it in large amounts. You know, a couple of whatever cheekies. You know what I'm saying? Bless up, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But loads of amounts, it's doing that to you, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm one of them people as well that lied to myself. Oh, this ain't doing nothing to me. I'm all right. You get me? I fucking, uh, I'll go to gym next day. I'll be fine. You understand? But it's not, man. It's deteriorating your mental health, man. Never mind you physically and what you're looking like physically. It's deteriorating you mentally. And it's going to fuck you in your ass one day, bruv. Because look at all the films we watch, man. Any gangster film, any good fellas, any one, the guys are always sniffing coke, casino, that other bad man film. Bro, what fucks them? Cocaine, man, you watch Escobar series. What fucks the guys, man? Cocaine. And yeah, it's one of them, innit? But I thought I'd let you know, innit? Because I just wanted to touch on the mental health. You know, I put a little few stories in there, make it a bit interesting. But hearing voices, you get me? It's, it's not nice. It's not nice for anyone. But my advice is look, the way I got through it is I, I just lashed the hope, basically. I just lashed the hope. Do you understand? I never even told anyone. I've never even told anyone this. What I'm telling you lot now. You get me? 
this is like personal shit but if it can help anyone and if anyone wants to come and chat about it come and chat to me about it you get me because i'm big on this mental health stuff but anyway on sunday i'm going to be running trying to run 15 mile great almond street hospital whatever i raise i'm going to give them you know i ain't had no donations yet but even if 50p a pound whatever i have bothered i'm gonna put my own money in the back in the pot anyway and give him it anyway you get me because i've been receiving a few letters from him like just for some like stuff and that they just send you letters when you when you support charities they send you letters out in it and the reason i support children yeah like people say oh i sent it to this place that place you know ukraine palestine whatever look i feel my heart goes out for all them people yeah but the reason why i help kids is because i feel that children they're defenseless in it and they've not done no harm to no one i know kids in them other countries they don't do no harm to no one i'm not saying that but obviously i'm from here in it britain and i just like helping young kids or whatever children i've done it before you know i i, I, I was i played a big part in organizing that that weightlifting charity event i played a very big part in that you know i mean it was my idea sending to use that charity but obviously i didn't turn up due to me being fucked fucked out made like a dick so I thought I'd do a little thing myself now. And yeah. So I'm gonna be doing that on Sunday. You know what I'm saying? Try to raise up some money money for a great Army Street Hospital. I've got the t-shirt. I'm gonna be running in that. I'm probably gonna get up early in the morning because it's gonna be a really hot Sunday. So I'm gonna do that, yeah. But if anyone wants to chat about mental health, look, I'm here to chat, you know what I'm saying? I'm going through issues right now myself, you understand? But uh, the way I'm getting through it is like i'm work i'm not working but i'm helping my friend out you know what i'm saying i'm keeping busy you know what i mean i finished doing whatever i go to the gym you know what i'm saying and i'm trying to stay positive and look i'm not saying i don't get angry i do i flipped this yesterday you know what i'm saying i did have flipped but it's because people want to tell me little lies you know what i'm saying and little lies but there's no need to lie about and if you know what i'm like you know what I'm going to do. You shouldn't do that. Do you know what I mean? I hate... One thing I hate is liars, man. I've always hated liars, man. Why lie about stuff? Do you know what I'm saying? Anybody in any walks of life, why lie, man? Do you understand? And especially if you... To me, like, you know, if anybody knows me, you know what I'm like. And I just hate it, man. And, and people like you... Like you I don't know. I don't want to get into it anyway. But I'm like I said, um, I've got my own issues. No one's life's perfect. But yeah, that's just another one for you anyway, guys. And, and peace out. Like, share, subscribe. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. I've got, I'm trying to get a guy on. He's being stabbed. I'm trying to get a few people on. A lot of people don't want to talk in it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, you know, they've got an ego in it. You know what I'm saying? They're just into the doing what they're doing. They're doing the thing in it. But um, you know what I'm saying? The doors are open, man. The doors are open, is it? Boom. Come in. Have a chat. But bless anyway, peace out, like, share, subscribe, just jar, chat in the van, bang.